Hello everybody, Dmod, Gmod here, and welcome back to some more Pokemon Emerald! In the last episode, we made it down over here to the good old city of... Wait for it, 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 wait, come on! Rustboro City! There you go, I kinda messed it up, but whatever. Rustboro City, we made it here to Rustboro City, the town that we got told about by our father that has a Pokemon gym in it, apparently, and we are here to definitely challenge that Pokemon gym. So I gotta run all the way back, and there we go. Maybe that joke wasn't worth it, but whatever. We're here. And we didn't check out the sign last time, so let's see. What's this gym about? Rustboro City Pokemon Gym. Leader, Roxanne, the rock-loving honor student. That gives us an idea what type we're gonna be fighting here. That's right, this is a rock-type Pokemon Gym. So let's see what our Pokemon here are. Hmm, I wonder which of the two Pokemon here that we have on our main team that are gonna be, that's gonna be more useful in this gym than the other. Hmm, a normal type or a water type? Uh... You, yeah, you can probably guess how this is gonna go. Alright, with that being said, then let's go into here. Alright, folks, who's ready? It's time for the first gym! And as usual, we got a good old champ in the making man here. Yo, how's it going? Listen, my friend, would you like to become the champion? I'm no traitor, not me, but I can sure give you some winning advice. That's settled then. We'll aim for the Pokemon Championship together. It's your job as a champ to collect gym badges, am I right? But gym leaders aren't pushovers. And that's where I come in. I'm here to provide expert advice. Roxanne, the gym, the gym leader, is a user of Rock-type Pokémon. The Rock-type is very durable, but it can't stand water and grass-type moves. Come see me afterwards if you beat the gym leader. Well, go for it. This guy here, he's in every gym, and he's kind of, I, I, I wouldn't say, he's kind of a running gag among players, you know. He's here every time, he gives you advice, he's, he's very, I don't know, he's, he's your, he's your right-hand man, pretty much, as I like to call it. And funny enough, this guy actually got a name in the future games, his name is actually Price. So I, I probably said that wrong, like, I don't know, I, I always mess up names I'm saying them out loud like that, like, it, I think it's... Think of Bryce, but put a P on it. Price. Actually, is that his name? Maybe I'm mixing his name up. If I get his name wrong, I'll put it on screen, but I think that's his name. It's in black and white, that's all I remember. It's been a while, so I may, I may forget your name, and I'm sorry if I do, but you're a champion of the making, man. I appreciate your help, and here we are. So as he said, water and grass type Pokemon are very useful here, and don't take us gym leaders lightly. I mean, gym, uh, gym leaders, yeah, there's multiple gym leaders. No, don't take us gym trainers lightly. I'll show you why we're the bet, why we're better. All right, show me what you got, little youngster. So as he was saying, grass type and water type Pokemon here are very effective, as they're going to be doing double the damage to everything pretty much you'll find in here, especially due to here, which are ground and rock type. So they'll be taking times four damage, aka you can breathe on them with bubble and they would explode. <laughs> However, if you end up picking Torchic and you don't have a Grass or Water type, my advice to you would be to train your uh, Torchic up just a little bit more. We're level 13 here, train your Torchic to about uh, level 16 or so, and once you uh, you hit level 16, your Torchic will actually evolve, and it will be gain a, the Fighting type along with its Fire type, which will make this gem much, much easier. However, if you got another Pokemon that isn't, you know, if you got another Pokemon that isn't good, good against rocks, it's not that bad. And ooh, we have a double battle here, it seems. If you can't beat me, you won't stand a chance against Roxanne. Not every day you get to have a double battle, especially in a gym. We're be in the middle of town. What's so what? My rock Pokemon need form to... Uh, I said form. I don't know where that came from. Need a room to rampage. I'm talking a little too fast. Anyway, here we got a double battle. We have, like I said, we don't see this too often, and it's especially not in the gym. All right, let's see what you got here. Let me guess, Geodude, and let me guess, Geodude. Wow, how did I know? So it's like it's the only rock type we'll, we'll see in this for the most of this gym. All right, Brad, you can't do late, like pretty much any damage at all, but you can go ahead and try. And I'm gonna have uh, we can probably knock them out with mud slap to be honest, but I'll keep it safe and play. Just use some water guns. There we go. There's one dude down. One more to go. And by one more to go, I mean one more for him because they actually buff him too. Brad hits level nine and no level. Okay. There's another Geodude. Wow, shocking. What a great sense of variety these trainers have. <laughs> Alright, you're not able to do anything this turn, unfortunately. Downside of Truant, but we'll make it work. Alright, what Mudskip's here for? There we go. There's another one down. And now, as you can see here, I actually targeted the same trainer twice. That way he doesn't have any more Pokemon, because now that I've done that, it is now a 2v1. So now it's going to be much simpler, as they're going to be... Not able to attack us nearly as much since it's two on one. So pretty handy trick you can do in doubles. There we go. Are you gonna level up at all, Mudkip? Geez, you talked out a lot of Geodudes at this point. Speaking of a lot of Geodudes, we got one more. All right, there we go. And one more scratch, one more water gun, and we'll be done. Simple enough. 
But there we go. Simple but effective. And there you go. There's your level up I was waiting on. Level 14. No new moves, but it's always nice to get a level. Wow, you got some potential. Why, thank you. Oh man, oh man, our challenge is one of our was one feisty customer. All right, feisty customer indeed. But with that being said, though, let's move on forward. And just like that, it's only the first gym, so it's rather short. But here we've made to the gym leader. My advice for every gym is that you're probably gonna want to save before you actually fight the gym leader, because you know, in case you have an embarrassing mess up and you want to restart, you can without having to go through like the process of going through the entire gym again. Thankfully, it's the first gym, so it's not that hard. However, I'm not saving because I'm recording, and we know we we all know how that goes. So, uh, we're definitely... Normally, I like to do the, sw the swapping trick to get breads of experience, but, um, should I do it here? Eh, it'll, it'll probably be fine. Last word. That was, those are some famous last words there, but anyways. Let's go forward. Hello, I am Roxanne, the Rustboro Pokemon Gym Leader. I became a gym leader so that I might apply what I learned at the Pokemon Trainer School in Battle. Which would kindly demonstrate how you battle, and with which which Pokemon. Well, there we go. That's an elegant way to start the battle. Here we go. Our first gym battle of the region. Or the project. Whatever you want to call it. Leader Roxanne would like to battle. She's got three Pokemon. However, if you're playing Ruby and Sapphire, she has two Pokemon. And her leading Pokemon, you guessed it. Not surprising at all. It's another Geodude. Level 12 with the following moveset. I'm going to be showcasing all the important trainers' movesets as we go on throughout the project. However, I'm not going to be looking at the movesets before I actually show them. So I'm not going to be knowing the movesets, but you guys are going to be able to see them. That way I'm able to inform you, and also if I have a surprise thing for me, I won't see it coming and it won't ruin it. Because I think it's part of the fun of Pokemon. Anyways, that being said though, uh, Brad, you, you intimidate them by coming out of the Pokeball. You look very menacing, very lazy, but mostly menacing. So we're gonna swap you out, and ooh, we got Rock Throw. And ooh, that actually did a lot of damage. Ow, okay. We'll just finish them off quickly with a Water Gun. And there we go. There goes her first Geodude, and unless I'm remembering wrong, I'm pretty sure she has two Geodudes here, and ooh! Her hits level 10, not bad. We got a lot of XP for that. Gym leaders give a lot a lot of experience, especially for a trainer, so they're a trainer, so you already get the bonus, and then they're a gym leader, so they give even more XP. Mostly because they're high leveled. And uh, we're gonna do it again, so come on up, Red. As you saw there, not surprising anyone at all, she has yet another Geodude. Holy crap. Mind blowing, is it? However, actually, I was gonna say however, I was gonna say however, this one's a guy, but it's actually not a guy. All right, we got another level Jet 12 G dude here, and I'm pretty sure it has the exact same moveset and everything. I'm pretty sure it's copy and pasted, but just in case, I'll show it on the screen. And once again, we're gonna swap with the Mudkip, then we're gonna do the same thing. The Raptor is gonna hurt pretty bad though. Ooh, wow, that is doing a lot of damage for, for what I'd like to see. Alright, I'm gonna go over here to Geodude. There we go. And there goes her second Geodude. Get some more XP on her belt. It's not bad. And surprise, surprise! She doesn't have a third Geodude. She actually has a different rock type. Nose Pass. This is a pretty rare rock type you're not gonna see very much often in this game. And I think I'm actually going to leave a Zigzagoon here. And you're probably wondering, what the heck am I trying to do with Zigzagoon? Against her Ace here. Nose Pass coming at a whopping level with her with its little cute dance. Whopping level 15. It's higher level than anything we have on our team here. With the following moveset. And the answer to why I brought Zigzagoon out is because we're not going to be battling with it. However, I'm going to be doing a sacrifice. So I can heal up Mudkip a little bit because it's actually kind of low in HP. And wow, I got knocked up by Tackle. That's insulting. I'm not taking that sitting down. I'm actually going to be throwing out bread here before Mudkip because if I can get my yawn off and put this thing to sleep, this will make this much, much easier. And that's probably why. It has hardened, so anything you try and do physical to it is not going to be doing much damage. So thankfully, Water Gun Special, so it shouldn't be that much of a problem. There we go. Now it's going to be put to sleep next turn, so we can go into Mudkip here. So as you can see, even though we have Truant, and it may not seem that we have the type advantage, even though we're not, like... It seems like on paper Sock will be a terrible matchup here against Nosepass. It's actually pretty useful here. It puts it right to sleep so we can actually get going. That being said, we're going to do a Water Gun. Let's see what damage this does. It does nothing. As you can see, Nosepass is quite durable. So, even though it's super effective, it's not four times effective like the Geodude. So, it may actually take a little bit of effort. Alright, one more should do it. Is it still asleep? It is still asleep. Look at that. Oh, right. I forgot about this. It actually has an item. I forgot about this. Gym, gym leaders actually do this in this game. They have this orange berry. 
So now, unfortunately, due to that orange bear, it's actually going to live another water gun, which probably means it's going to wake up here. Yeah. That's Rock Tune. That's going to hurt. As you can see, Rock Tune here, it lowers speed every time it hits you. So, No Spice might actually be faster than I am. And she's got items too. As you can see, she's not going down without a fight. This is a real fight here. Right, there we go. And I think. I can't risk it. I can't risk it. I can't risk getting knocked out. If I get knocked out here, then it's already over because my slack off cannot touch this thing. Alright, let's see here. What are you, you going to do? Another potion? Really? Wow. I'll right, we'll go for another yawn. And oh, crap. I got outplayed. It has block. Yeah, block there makes it so you can't switch out your Pokemon once you've been hit by it. So we're actually stuck in here now. So, uh, go get them, slack off. Oh lord, this is this is gonna this is gonna turn into a very 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 long battle, even though it really shouldn't be. Cause now it's back to sleep. I still can't swap out, so I have to attack him. Oh boy. Uh, <laughs> no, Roxanne, why? Voice crack. This fight could have been over. Why did you do it? Stop hardening. Knock me out, please. Please knock me out. I don't want to sit here any longer, please. Uh, Roxanne, why? This fight's supposed to take like two minutes. Why'd you do it, Roxanne? Yes, please knock me out. Please, please, please knock me out. Come on, use Rock Tomb. Hit me with some Rock Tombs. And I guess while we're waiting for me to actually get knocked out here, since I can't really do anything else about it now, I'm going to heal Mudkip up. Stop using Harden. Fight me. Coward. <laughs> Alright, stack of sleep. Uh, no, I'm not using another item. We're going to attempt to do any damage to it at all, even though it's going to do absolutely nothing. Woohoo! One damage. Hooray. Oh, brother. Well, I, I could definitely say she definitely uh, counterplayed my switching strategy. That she definitely figured that out pretty quickly. Okay, there we go. Right, now is not the time to be loafing around my bread. Now is the time to attack. And okay, we didn't even get our yawn off too. Wow, she really out. She really outdid me there. Well, it's all down to you, Mudkip. Here we go. If you want to get one of those lucky crits that you're so famous for at this point, that'd be great. Oh, or that works too. Yes, 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 yes. Keep missing. Come on. I think, I'm pretty sure she only has two potions and the evil... Why would you use block? Okay, now you literally have no chance of winning. What? What? What just happened? Roxanne was like super smart about playing my switching and then she just completely went dumb. I mean, I'll take it, but that was weird. All right. We're going to level 15 for our trouble. And ooh. Bye, uh... I'll get rid of it for Growl. We're never going to use Growl. Although, I don't think Bite is actually that much better. In fact, it might actually be worse than Growl, but whatever. I'll take it. And with that, after that really bizarre fight with Roxanne, seriously, I think that was the weirdest that fight has ever gone for me in history. We've won! So, I lost. It seems that I still have much more to learn. I understand. Pokemon League's rules state the trainers are to be given this if they defeat gy a gym leader. Please accept the official Pokemon League Stone Badge. Every 1,000 find your Pokemon for winning. Not bad at all. And we got the Stone Badge! Yeah! <laughs> there we go. First badge of eight. The Stone Badge heightens the attack power of your Pokemon. It also knows them to use the HM move cut outside of battle. Please take this with you too. And for our trouble of beating a gym leader, we also get a TM for our troubles. And Roxanne, as you can probably imagine, is her, what we're going to call her signature move here, Rock Tomb. It not only inflicts damage by dropping rocks, but it also lowers the opponent's speed. If you use a TM, it instantly teaches the move to a Pokemon. Now, remember, a TM can be used only once, so think before you use it. So yeah, not bad at all. We, we won. It was definitely a weird encounter. I've never had a Roxanne fight go quite like that before, but we won. Fair and square, so... Oh yeah, guys, he, he asked us to talk to him if we won. Whoa, what a breathtaking victory. My cheering must have worked. Great, check your trainer card. The stone badge you should be... Uh, sh blah, 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 blah. 
you guys should be probably recorded on it. In other words, you've climbed the first step on your stair stairway to championship. That's gotta feel awesome. All right, let's see here. If we, as he just said, we go to a trainer badge card, and as you can see here, our badge is right here. Not bad at all. I don't know about yelling out of the way. Let's get out of here. Alrighty. Get out! Out of the way! Oh, hi, Team Aqua. How you doing? Wait, please! Don't take my goods! I don't know why that's all capitalized. Well. Eh, I'm sure he'll be fine. Let's go hear our Pokemon. What? You want me to go help him? We, you're saying we probably should go help him? Okay, fine. First of all, we definitely want to hear our Pokemon, though. They all fought valiantly for our gym badge, and they should definitely be rewarded for such an uh, acts of chivalry, or whatever I'm saying. There we go. Alrighty, back onto the road, and we should probably all just aside, go see what's going on over there. Alright, went this way, and I think he probably went this way. Yep, there he is. Hello there. Oh, it's you! You're in a fantastic chair who helps me in Pelvic Woods. Help me, I was drawn to my Team Aqua. I have to get my Devon goods back. If I don't, uh, I'm gonna be in serious trouble. Fret not, civilian. I, the hero of justice, shall go find your goods. And by finding his goods, we shall go onto Route 116, a whole different route. And you know what? Normally I skip battles, but you know what? I think I want some XP. My Pokemon rule! Check them out. Alright. And I think starting from this point forward, I might actually start fast warning or cutting out battles here if they're not required. Oh, wait a minute! Oh crap, it's Youngster Joey! Oh, I never mind. No way I'm cutting you out, buddy. Apparently his Rattata got so swole and top percentage from training, he became a chop. Okay, then. Ah, Youngster Joey, you've come a long way, my friend. But I shall defeat you. And I think I'm actually almost level 60. Okay, I'm not quite level 60, but I'm getting there. But yeah, no way I'm able to cut out Youngster Joey. Normally, I think I start cutting trainer battles out here that aren't required, but you know, it's Youngster Joey. He's kind of famous. I kind of have to showcase him. Unfortunately, though, he's not even going to get to attack once. You had one chance, Joey, and you blew it. You blew it. There we go. Not bad. Oh, it's a scrape. I had to put on the bandage. I didn't hit you, I hit your Pokemon. Unless you mean your Pokemon, then, uh... uh good job on you for caring them. Caring for them. What does it say? Trainer tips. If you want to stop a Pokemon from evolving, press the B button while it's trying to evolve. The start of Pokemon will stop. This is called an evolution cancel. Kind of seems a little cruel, don't you think? Stopping a Pokemon from advancing in its life cycle? Okay, the way I said it makes it sound like I'm killing it. Jeez, uh, I didn't mean it like that. Uh, anyways, moving on. <laughs> Let's see if I can sneak by you. And I did a terrible job trying to sneak by you. I study at school and I study on the way home too. I don't know what you're studying, but uh, good for you. Actually, wow, she looks all... She looked like an, like an adult when she was like on the over map, but no, she's like a little girl. And she's got a Shroomish. All right, Shroomish, I'll take you on. You know, since we're already here, let's do this fight. Let's see. I'll let you up scratch. Now, I'm probably gonna regret hitting her with scratches because she's probably gonna hit me with effects more any second now. And I'm gonna have to go heal it, and, or she can just paralyze me flat out. Okay, that works too. Ah. All right, it's for the XP. Just keep that in mind. It's for the XP. It's okay. We'll make it through this. Okay, maybe this is not a good idea. Shrewd versus paralysis is a really bad combo. Holy crap! All right, Brad, please. I'm begging you. Hit the mushroom. Brad, please! That's twice now. Hit the mushroom. It's not hard. And oh, I don't get crit too. Alright, come on, Brad. Hit the mushroom. Thank you. Can I just do that two more times, please? And don't ha and if you can knock it out before it gets all of its P back, that'd be lovely. Okay, two more scratches. Come on. Come on. I believe in you, Brad. I'm not swapping you out because I believe in you. I believe! Yes! Okay, come on. One more. 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 One. Yeah! I want HP too. Holy crap. <laughs> Alright. Heart of the balls, baby. Heart of the balls. I'm in shock. I lost? I'm surprised you won that too. I mean,. Uh, nothing? I didn't mean it like that. Uh, <laughs> nothing. Anyways. Uh, no kidding. Oh, actually, one second. My Zigzag actually picked up something. 
Hello there, Zigzy. What you got for me? Ooh, a super potion. Not bad. This is the advantage of having a pick a poke. We get some pretty nice stuff for free. Uh, I think for now, though, we'll just use a regular potion. That should be good enough. There we go. And we also got a paralyzed heal. There we go. And back to looking good as new. Almost. But anyways, good enough. Let's see what we got here. We haven't seen any wild Pokemon in a little bit. And ooh, we got a Wismer here. All right, Wismer here. This thing, uh... Wismer's a really uh, weird Pokemon, at least starting off, because this Wismer here... Let me, let me just demonstrate this quickly. Or I can get a critical hit and knock it out instantly. Okay, uh, well, don't worry. We're going to have plenty of time to see Wismer in the future, so uh, don't worry about that if you want to see what Wismer's capable of. And, well, I said I was going to skip battles, but you know what? We got a double battle. Let's do it. If the tunnel doesn't go through, then I'll just go over the top. It's a den up here. I'm bored, so can we battle? Sure thing. Alright, double battle. I said they're rare, and yet we've been having a lot of them recently. We got Clark and Johnson. Let's see, you got a Judo, like we haven't seen enough of these already this episode, and a Shroomish. Another Pokemon we've seen quite a bit. Alright, this shouldn't be too bad. I'm gonna scratch on you, I'm gonna water gun onto the Judo, and that should be it. There we go. And, okay, the crits are coming out. The crits are coming out in full force now. What's happening? Hey, what's happening? That bread's getting to level 11. Not bad. And I just healed my paralysis. Could you not paralyze me for one second? Please. Alright, we'll do another scratch even though I can't attack him, and we'll do a tackle. Please don't be paralyzed, please don't be paralyzed, please don't be paralyzed. If you say it three times, it will happen. It's a magic trick. See? Magic. <laughs> Alright, we'll do a scratch, tackle again, and I should do it. Amazing how my slow, lazy sloth is actually, like, faster than everything else in the field. And of course I get hit by effect! Freaking Shroomish. Oh, Shroomish. He also has a low tad. Okay, uh... This could actually work out, because I could... Actually, no, right? It's definitely gonna be, The fight's definitely gonna be over before Bread wakes up. Yeah. Yeah. Freaking Shroomish, man. It has it out for me, I swear. And that should do it. Another crit. Wow, okay. Mud game, seriously, what is going on with you? You've been getting too many crits. It's kind of freaky. <sighs> Losing made me feel tired. That was fun, even though I lost. Two, to, two whole different moods right there. Alright, and before we move forward, let me actually wake up my Pokemon here. Actually, do I have... Okay, I got berries, but I was going to say, do I not have anything to heal? But no, I do. I'll wake you up, and, uh, that should probably do it, actually. Can I avoid this guy? I cannot. So much for me skipping trainers. We'll rock you hard! I appreciate the pun, my good sir. It was a pretty solid pun. Anyways, moving on. More Judos! I think I'm just gonna fast forward this fight. We've seen enough fights with Judos. I think you guys get the picture now. I'll see you guys in just a second. And it actually turned out to be a pretty good thing I ended up doing this battle in the long run because my mic here actually grew to level 16 during this fight. And, uh... <laughs> I like what this guy says. ay yeah, yeah, No contest at all. And as I was saying, he level 16. You know what that means? That's right. It's the starter Pokemon. It's evolution time, baby! Not evaluation time like Silent would say. Bum, bum, bum. And our Mudkip has evolved into Marsh Stomp. That's right, folks. We have our first evolution of the project. Not bad. And Marsh Stomp, trying, what it has, is trying to evolve. We'll try and learn Mudshot. And Mudshot here, I can tell you right now, I'm very happy to be learning because, as you can see here, 55 power, 95 accuracies, and has a chance to lower speed. Much, much more useful than Mud Slap, so we'll definitely be trading that off right away. Not bad at all. Looking good. And even much more as a bonus, as I mentioned way before in part one, is that once your Mudkip evolves, it will actually become a Water Ground type, a very rare typing. And Water Ground actually is a super good typing because Water Ground makes it so that you're only weak to Grass types. Granted, you're four times weak to Grass, which means that anything that's Grass that touches you is going to annihilate you. 
On the plus side, it's only one weakness. You're completely immune to electricity, which is water's other weakness, and you also resist ice, which would be normally be ground's weakness. So, pretty freaking good typing all around. Not bad at all. I'm saying that a lot this episode, but truly, it's not bad at all. Anyways, oh, oh actually, I was going to talk to that old man, but more importantly, Pokeball. It has an X item in it. X items are actually pretty interesting. We haven't really seen any of them yet, but X items here... There are a single time use item that are used in battles that will actually increase your stats by one stage upon using it. As you see, this one here, X Special, increases your special attack. They can be useful, however, I will admit that I personally don't actually end up using them too much, and... They kind of just sit in my bag or I sell them. But anyways, they can be useful if you need them. Now then, what, who are you? Oh, what am I to do? We were on a walk in Pico and I. We were jumped by an old thug. A scrounge made off of my darling Pico. Pico! Uh, calm down there, old man. We'll go get him. And I have a feeling we know exactly who this uh, odd thug might be. So uh, how about we go in after him? I welcome you to Rust Surf Tunnel. The most dangerous, longest dungeon in the game. No, it's really not. It's That's it. The crunch right there. It's really short. <laughs> and as I was saying earlier, the only Pokemon you can find in here is Wismer. Which is why I was saying, if you want to find Wismer, don't worry, you'll have a very easy place to find him. The only Pokemon in this cave is literally just Wismer. And now this time, I should probably be able to show off what a Wismer does. Or we could knock it out in one hit again. Holy crap, the game does not want me to show off what Wismer does, huh? Basically, Wismer only learns two moves, Uproar and Growl, and until it evolves. And it's a pretty weird Pokemon raising it. However, once you actually get it going, it evolved into a pretty respectable normal type, and it allowed you to explode. So, if you want a normal type for your team that wants to, that can learn a lots of lots of moves, have lots of HP, and just overall just be a nice solid overall overall Pokemon, Wismer can work. It's just it's a little bit of a pain in the butt to raise. I won't lie. Then again, I'm sitting here with a slack off here, so I kind of think I know what I'm talking about with pains in the butts. And also, it just proved me wrong because I forgot I actually got Pound too. My bad. There's uproar. That's what I was talking about. And it's actually doing some pretty decent damage to me overall. However, this fight's over. There we go. There we go, alright. Got the item here, which is what I was trying to get. And we got a Pokeball. Now this begs the question. Since all the other Pokeballs we found have had a different item in it, did we just find a Pokeball in a Pokeball, or did we just find a Pokeball? Questions that dwindle in your mind as you try to sleep at night. <laughs> Anyways, let's we'll go over here and... What? Are you coming? Come and get some then. I like how he says that and he backs away. Uh, before we go forward though, I think we should probably heal. So uh, let me get my... Let me use some orange berries. Let us use the power of nature. There we go. And wow, I think we got another item already. Nice work, Ziggy. Ooh, a full heal. A full heal is... I, I, I said full heal. Full heal is an item that we won't be able to buy until much later into the game, and it heals any status infliction in the entire game. So, pretty random item. I, what am I... I can't talk right now. Pretty random item. Pretty handy item. That we got for free, so I'm not complaining. Anyways, though, you there, mister. Hand back his... Pico! Let's do it. Grah! Keyhole at all! What are you, a pirate? The hostage Pokemon turned out to be worthless. I think I made a getaway into this tunnel to nowhere. Hey you, so you want to battle me? I do. Alright, round two of the same Aqua Grunt we fought before. We'll here have different Pokemon, let's see. Team Aqua Grunt would like the battle, he has the same Poochiena, albeit he actually has trained it a decent amount since we last saw him. And we're both level 11, it's an equal fight. Who will come out on top? The answer, uh, I'm a yawn, so probably me. Uh, there we go. And oh no, not Sand Attack, I'm gonna actually swap out. You know what, actually? This is Marshtop's first battle. You know, it's the first battle ever since it's evolved. Let's 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 give him some time to shine. Go get him, Marshtop. Let's see if we put to sleep here, so we get a free turn to attack, and let's show off this new fancy mud shot of ours. If I don't get paralyzed, that is perfect. Rawr! I like how it, I like how it looks like it comes out of his cheek or something. It looks a little weird, but it does look cool. And there we go, one shot in, just as it should be. Ah, my career crime comes to a dead end. This is plain not right. The boss told me this would be a sick, slick and easy job to pull. All I have to do is steal some package from Devon. You want to back that badly? Take it. 
And we got back to Devin Goods. And more importantly, we got back to Pico. Pico, am I glad to see you're safe. Pico is a life to you. They call me Mr. Briny, and you are. Ah, so you're Zachary. I sincerely thank you. Now, if there's anything that troubles you, don't hesitate to tell me. You can usually find my cars by the sea near Petalburg Woods. Come, Pico, we should make our way home. Pico! And with that, we have done, we have saved the day. We have saved the old man's bird. And we've also retrieved the Devon Goods, more importantly, I guess. Although, personally, I like being the hero of justice, saving the Pico from the vile Team Aquagrunt. Anyways, though, I think it's gonna do it for this episode. We took on a gym, we helped the team, we helped defeat the Team Aqua Grunt, we got the Devon Goods back. And we had a Pokemon Evolution for the first time of, 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 of blah, 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 our starter of all things. I am talking way too fast this episode, holy crap, I need to slow it down. But yeah, thank you guys for watching, hope you enjoyed, and next time on Pokemon Emerald, we'll go back and give back the Devon Goods, and who knows? Maybe there might be a little reward in it for us, don't you think? We'll see you next time. See you guys, then.